Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. And while it's been a, a long week for everyone in this chamber, it's been a far harder week for a lot of people who are not here. When we left here last Thursday, there were fewer than 10 cases of coronavirus in the state of Tennessee. When we got here last Thursday morning, the SEC tournament was still going full bore. Bars were still crowded on Broadway. Uh, as we stand here tonight, we have over 150 cases. They're not serving that many ribs. The rendezvous of the Grand Ole Opry is performing without an audience, and UT is not in session, at least not in person. This is going to be an immensely difficult time, and I think, I think we did have to come and do this budget, There's, and I appreciate some of the work that's gone into it. I have some reluctance voting for this because I, I don't think that we have necessarily done our best work, Mr. Speaker. I think when we gathered this week, I think we were, I think our mission was to do the mission critical, to uh, hold fast to what was in last year's budget, to focus some on what is the urgency ahead and to try to uh, withdraw and come back and, and take on more later. I think that we've unfortunately preserved some programs, such as the, the $40 million that stays in this budget for a brand new program, uh, I, which I know is near and dear to the governor's heart, but it is very difficult to justify I actually got an email last night from a teacher who wrote, as a state, sir, you know, as, as a state employee, I have no problem sacrificing, you know, some of the raise that was planned for me to help the victims of the tornadoes, to help the people that are struggling with coronavirus. But I do have a lot of problem sacrificing that and sacrificing what that aid is for something that is a brand new experiment in Tennessee. And I think we've made some fast decisions that aren't particularly fair. Uh, we've made some decisions that affect metropolitan counties, which includes Davidson, but also includes Moore and Trousdale County that will stop several million dollars of aid from making it to those counties. And uh, as I indicated in the prior discussion, I think there's lots of work that we need to do that we have left undone. I'm not sure that we've done enough to get people through the next eight weeks here. I certainly don't think, without repeating the debate from this afternoon, we are not in a position, unless this virus changes course dramatically, we are not in a position to guarantee safe and fair elections in August and November. We're just not. Uh, I'm going to reluctantly vote on this vote yes on the budget because I think in many ways it is a draft until we come back. There is going to be a lot of reality that shifts between now and then. And I appreciate, you know, the finance chair mentioned this and I, I've, I've heard the governor say that the way we have managed the state has positioned state government to weather this storm. And there is some truth to that, but there is also truth to the fact that the way that we have managed this state has left too many people in this state vulnerable for the crisis ahead. Everybody in this room knows that we would be in better shape going into this next few months if we did not have 13 hospitals that had closed in the last several years. Everybody in this room, I hope, would know that we would be in better shape if there weren't several hundred thousand Tennesseans who don't exactly know how they are going to cover any medical care needs that they have in the next few months. We would be better positioned in this moment if we didn't have to waive some of the requirements and restrictions and hurdles and paperwork obstacles that we are right now when we're really trying to help people. 
we're going to come back here and we're going to have work to do then. There are going to be things that good progressive Democrats have advocated for forever that aren't going to make sense eight weeks from now. And I'll, I'll find that then, but, I, but <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But I, I will try, and I think all of us should try to think about the things that we think about reflexively because we're good Democrats or good Republicans. Because the people of Tennessee, when we get back here, they're going to need more from us than that. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.